Today we're going to talk about discipline. So hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed because we have a good time on this channel. I don't know exactly what I'm going to title this video. I know I already have a video on this channel where I spoke about how to be disciplined. I probably would title it the exact same, but I wanted to talk about discipline a bit more. I feel like this video is going to serve as an extension or a continuation of that video. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to have it linked below, but we're going to talk about how to be more disciplined in your life, what you can do to change your mindset about discipline if you don't know this i am telling you right now the only way you can be successful in life is if you're disciplined and the first thing i'm going to talk to you guys about how do you view discipline your perspective of discipline or your perception of discipline is what would help you be disciplined in your life a lot of us see discipline as an obligation or a task or something that we have to do rules and regulations we have to follow this is how we have to live our lives to be successful or this is what we have to do to be regarded as you know a responsible human being in our society so in that way when you think about discipline automatically it becomes a burden it becomes a task it becomes something that you have to tick out the box so you don't necessarily see it as something natural that you want or something from within that you crave for the one way that i would recommend is to change your mindset when it comes to the definition of discipline in your life i need you to have a mindset switch because when we look at discipline from a a definition perspective a book perspective or a dictionary perspective it can seem a bit tough I'll, I'll be honest strict or it can even be mandatory it can even be punishment when you hear the word discipline it triggers that emotion of fear around discipline itself because it seems so stiff it seems like a heavy task so you can automatically feel overwhelmed by it because you fear the definition that is out there about discipline that mindset switch will help you define discipline from your own point of view from your comfortability from your couch from your bed you define what discipline means to you i choose to see discipline as self-respect and self-love and seeing discipline from this angle requires me to do better with my life because i love and respect myself and i want better for myself i want more for myself i want to advance i want to grow and if you love yourself and you respect yourself enough then you would want these things for yourself do you see discipline as an act of love towards yourself or an act of respect towards yourself or showing yourself a lot more sympathy and grace and honoring yourself and understanding yourself and being self-aware if you see discipline from this point of view then it'd be easier for you to abide by to stick by to set boundaries you love respect yourself enough to give yourself the best and the final things in life and what do you have to do to get to that point is be disciplined the second point i'm going to talk about is understanding the root cause of your laziness majority of you that clicked on this video today the reason why you're here is because you cannot seem to get things done you're lazy you're laid back that's what you're labeling it as what is laziness laziness is literally just a word that we plaster on not being productive or not getting things done in your life we just call it laziness but one thing you don't realize is there is a root cause to that said laziness there's a reason why you're not getting up to get things done there's a reason why you cannot follow the list that you already put together for yourself that you know that is going to yield you results there's a reason why you cannot set boundaries there's a reason why you cannot do the things that you know Know that if you do you're going to see success you're going to build wealth there's a reason why and that reason can be because you're burnt out that reason can be because you're depressed that reason can be because you're overwhelmed that reason can be because you're self-sabotaging that reason can be fear fear is usually one of the biggest reasons or you might not just have the passion so there's a root cause to your quote-unquote laziness and you need to understand what that root cause is if you don't attack issues from the root cause there is no fixing there is no remedy there is no solution so why are you lazy is it because you're burnt out then let's start fixing the burnout and if you fix the burnout then you fix the laziness and when you fix the laziness you're able to be more disciplined and structured organized in your life so always look for the root cause of your issues ask yourself several questions look at things from different angles and ask yourself realistic truthful questions about your situation the answer is literally linging right around you why are you lazy are you tired do you just don't have passion for that particular thing do you need to 
switch focus? Do you need to switch interest? Do you need to switch angles? Do you need a fresh pair of eyes to look at things for you? Because you don't think you're actually grasping what you're supposed to grasp from that picture or that goal that you're working towards. Your root cause might be the reason why you don't feel like doing it. You don't feel like showing up. You don't feel like getting up. You don't feel like picking things up. You don't feel like being productive. Your root cause might just be your exact reason. Now that you understand discipline, you have identified it as what it is in your life. For me, self-love, self-respect, I want to do better for myself. I love myself enough to give myself the best, right? And then I have seen the different aspect of my life that, you know, needs work and I have worked on those aspects. So my fear, my burnout, my no passion, my self-sabotaging, all of that, I've worked on it. Now, what I like to do at this point, which is my third tip for you guys, would be to picture what my life would look like when I am a disciplined person. Whether you like it or not, we already know things and the steps that we need to take. It might be difficult. It might be a bumpy ride. It might be a hassle, but we already know ideally in our head, we already know what the other side looks like when we get there successfully. Once you start being disciplined in your life, what do you think will change? How would your life be different? What do you see? What's the picture you see? You could be excelling the area of discipline at work, but not necessarily the area of discipline in your private life. So you just let people walk all over you. You don't set boundaries. You are in that relationship knowing that you're not supposed to be in that relationship. You are in that toxic friendship knowing that it's draining you. You can't seem to set boundaries there. You can already tell the areas that discipline needs to be implemented. And you know what you're supposed to do in those areas, right? I want you to picture your life, what it would look like when you're disciplined in those areas. What are the results you get? What I typically do is kind of like list those things down. So if I put my foot on the ground and do X, Y, Z in this manner, this is the result or the outcome that I intend to get or I think I will get. You already see a beautiful rosy ending if you just put in the work, but it's the motivation to put in the work that we're trying to work on. Picture that life that you would have once you are disciplined. Write it all out. And when you're putting this picture together, I want you to be as detailed as possible. What would my life look like as a disciplined person, like my daily routines? What would I do? What would I eat? Where would I go? Who are my friends? Who is my partner? What does my family look like as a disciplined, healthy person? What would my routines look like? If you like, you can create a mood board. If you like, you can create like step-by-step -step list in different categories when it comes to friendship, relationship, work-life balance, your career, your businesses. Make sure they're as detailed as possible because that will be your starting point. That will be your map. That will be your guide, your one step in the door. Your next step, which is my fifth tip on this list, is to create a routine out of that list that you have made. Like I said, in different categories, in different aspects of your life, start creating routines and small ones, what your day would look like as a healthy babe, what your day would look like as a career babe, achievable daily routines, weekly routines, monthly routines that will help you stay in track. Start small and begin to build it. That's the only way you can stay consistent. You can stay disciplined. You can actually be disciplined with the routine. As you go further, you increase the level, you turn it up and not. You don't need to go full ham into it so you don't burn. If you're a writer, I'll definitely recommend a journal. I'm a digital planner type of girl and I use this app called Structure to structure my day. It's a very fun daily planner that I feel like you would enjoy using. So I'll definitely recommend it for you guys. It's on the screen. Download it and plan and structure your day. Now my next point, which is essential for your discipline journey or learning how to be more disciplined in your life is understanding your boundaries, knowing your limits, setting your boundaries, setting your limits. I cannot stress this enough because if you don't know what your limits are, what your boundaries are, then it is very easy for people to actually cross them. It's very easy for people to walk all over you. It's very easy for your mind to be easily changed. It's very easy for you to fall off. You need to understand what your boundaries are. You need to set them and stick by it. What are your non-negotiables? What are your ways of doing things? Who are you? What do you like? How do you like to be treated? Do you want princess treatment? How do you want to be spoken to? There are things like you must be successful in life. You must surround yourself with people and things that add value to your life. These are things that you set in your life that determines how we show up in life and show up for ourselves. How do you want to relate and communicate with people? What do you believe is a good communication skill? These are things that you must set. And when you set these things and stick to them, follow them on a consistent base, they become your identity. They become who you are. It's so easy for you to follow through because you have done it so well and for a long period of time that it has completely embedded into your soul, your spirit, your head, your mental. The last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about when it comes to discipline is grace. Showing yourself grace. You're a human and sometimes you fall 
fall short sometimes you will take one step forward and five steps backwards and that is completely fine they are normal for your growth they're normal for your success they are normal for your everyday living you can't beat yourself up about not doing the right things or following the right path sometimes sometimes you can sway and that is completely fine have grace on yourself and be lenient and you being lenient with yourself is also you not going full force into this it's a journey you have to treat it as one it's a path you have to treat it as sort take it level by level stage by stage don't push yourself too hard once you push yourself so hard you can't break and you don't want to break make sure you're soothing yourself throughout this process now i hope this video was helpful for you guys i hope you're able to learn a thing or two let me know your thoughts in the comment section below follow me on my socials which are linked below my instagram and also my tiktok thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye listening in your car at your job you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey